Today I'm going to talk about the major olive vera juice side effects that could potentially hurt you that you want to know about. Now before I get started, uh, down below there's this link where I'm giving away a free video based guide on using herbal remedies and dietary supplements to really improve your health. Now throughout history, healers have really recognized the healing powers of this plant. Heck, there's even a legend that uh, Alexander the Great conquered the island of Socotra just to secure a supply of this plant for his wounded troops. Now, we all know that treating sunburns and wounds can really help somebody if they use aloe vera, almost like they have superpowers, almost. Other possible uses can include moisturizing the skin, helping the immune system, digestion, and even getting rid of pesky toxins. Unfortunately, like with almost everything in life, there's a dark side to something, and that's the purpose of this video, to share with you the uh, unwise side effects. Okay. Now, the biggest risk really comes down if you grew the plant from home and extracted the juices naturally and applied them to yourself. So that's the biggest risk. The reason why is because in this plant, aloe vera, there is a substance known as aloin which is a yellow substance found on the outside of the plant. The good news is if you purchase all of their juice from a manufacturer or a store, they probably don't have this aloin substance. Therefore, it's safe, hopefully. Now, if you ingest this uh, aloin material, it highly induces bowel movement, meaning uh, diarrhea, as well as stomach pain is going to bring about more, more bad news that electrolyte imbalances will probably take place. And now, uh, you're, you're probably wondering what the heck does that mean, electrolyte imbalances? Well, electrolytes are minerals in your body that have an electric charge. Maintaining a good, a good balance of them really kind of helps with your body's chemistry and doing stuff like muscles and chemical reactions and stuff which you're probably confused on to give you some ideas on side effects if you do have a chemical imbalance bring about things like weak muscles, irregular heartbeats feeling fatigued, confusion and even some tingling in your hands and feet due to your nervous system now also aloin can bring about uterine contractions so if a woman is pregnant, she really should steer clear of olive vera in general to be safe because it's not worth the risk. It's not. Another side effect of applying this juice on the skin is photosensitivity effects. If you're wondering what the heck that means, well, it basically means the skin is more sensitive to sunlight. And uh, basically means that um, you're more likely to get a sunburn and get damage from the sun. The last effect I'm going to talk about has to do with prescription drugs that can negatively interact with it. I think that all prescription drugs can interact negatively with something out there. Um, heck, even the human body, right? There's always nasty side effects of drugs and they cause, they induce free radical creation, which harms your body even more. So, as you can see, there's a lot more advantages to using olive vera than there are risk and dangerous, um, but it's good to know what they are. Now, after, uh, okay. Now, before you go out and start buying much olive vera, I do strongly recommend you do check out that free video-based guide that I talked about earlier. It uh, can definitely help you uh, identify a good product rather than a crappy, horrible product out there, and give you a lot of tips on using herbs and supplements for in general. And the best part is completely free. So. You have nothing to lose by at least learning more about it. And you can do that by clicking on the link below the video. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video helped a couple of people. Until, have a, until next time, have a great rest of your day and take care.